Hi, I'm Kristen with Wildflowers and Fresh Food, and I'm with Rebecca Washburn, a licensed therapist, yoga instructor, and the founder of The Chakra Journey. And we're here today talking about the sacral chakra, but yes. tell me quickly, what are the chakras? The chakras are energy centers that govern different aspects of our lives and govern different aspects of our bodies. So each one contains a different program. So today we'll be talking about the program of the sacral chakra. Well, I have um, just a little bit of garlic. I'm going to put in some olive oil. The color for the sacral chakra is orange. Yes. I want to show you how to make this beautiful, colorful carrot salad. Mm -hmm. And so first I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in some olive oil. And I want to quickly show you, I learned in a cooking course, this little piece here in the middle of the garlic, this is new growth. Oh. And it's bitter. And mm -hmm. so you don't want we it don't want in. Okay. So I feel like something That's about the chakras know. and our sacral chakra and growth and all those things are tie in somehow. But and right now um, the setup here is very aromatic and mm. you can smell all the different yes. flavors and that's all that's what the sacral chakra is about is tuning into our feelings and our senses. So passion, sensuality, creativity, mm -hmm. the things we love. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the sacral chakra governs the, the way that we move through life. We use our senses to allow us to move towards things that are pleasurable, move away from things that are painful. And when we move towards things that are pleasurable, we, our energy expands and opens. If we move towards things that are painful, it closes and contracts. So knowing that about ourselves, we can use that as a guiding system on what is it that drives us? What is it that we desire? And we allow ourselves to move towards that rather than resisting and rejecting um, those things that we find pleasurable, we allow ourselves to move towards them. So it's like moving Love with the that. flow of life, tuning into our senses and paying attention to where life is guiding us. That's beautiful, really beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside. So that's some olive and um, olive oil and garlic. Okay. And so what I've got is I've got some cumin mm -hmm. and I've got some paprika. And so if you'll just kind of sprinkle those in, this okay. is about a table, a teaspoon of cumin, ground cumin, and mm -hmm. a pinch or so of paprika. I have a little bit more there only because. I like that flavor and this uh -huh. is a smoked paprika. I am going to add some sriracha for a little bit of heat and a little bit of honey for a little bit of sweet. Mm. The Sanskrit word for um, the sacral chakra is svatisthana, which means Ooh. sweetness. Oh, so there's our honey. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So finding right. the sweetness in life. Oh, that's really mm -hmm. nice. I love that. And I'm going to add in a little bit of, this is a Himalayan salt. It's beautiful. So we have all these beautiful colors. And mm -hmm. Do you want me to stir this? That'd be awesome. Thank you. So tell me a little bit what you see in your therapy um, when you can help someone identify that they need to go in a certain direction and work on a certain chakra, in this case being our, our sacral chakra. Yes, so this is a big one um, that affects a lot of people because it governs our emotions mm -hmm. and our emotions are energy that moves through the body and we're meant to feel them, experience them, and then they move out. Okay. But a lot of times we've been taught that it's not okay to feel sad or it's not okay to be angry and so we push our emotions away and reject them and try to fix them and um, not pay attention to them. So that's when they get stuck in the body. So they can get, our emotions can get stuck in different places in the body. So someone with a balanced sacral chakra is able to tune in to their emotions and their feelings and uh, bring consciousness and acknowledgement, acknowledgement to that and allow it to move through. I love that. So when they say, when an emotion comes to mm -hmm. visit it, mm -hmm. as they say, to address it, to, to be there. Um, however, I sometimes think we could, can we stay there too long? Tell me a little bit about all okay, that. Okay, so there's a difference like? between thinking about the emotion and thinking about the story behind the emotion, because okay. that's mind, that's yeah, when we're in our mind. 
Um, and that will keep us stuck and marinating in that emotion. Okay. But emotions actually come up in the body. So if we actually tune into the physical sensation that the emotion is producing, mm -hmm. that is paying attention to it and being with it okay. and experiencing it. And so when we do that, it is able to give us the information that we need and then it can move through. So, um, and it, it doesn't mean that it's gonna immediately move through, but it is a way of processing it. So if we get stuck in the mind, that means that um, it, it's gonna stay where it is because we're not really tuning into the feeling of it. So okay. it's about feeling it in, physically in the body. And, and you'll notice that if, if you do have an emotion, like tune in to where you feel it physically. It's really interesting to, to change that around. This morning I was talking on the phone with a friend and we were talking about something that made us feel kind of sad. Mm -hmm. And I said, I feel like I have physical pain yeah. actually like mm -hmm. here in my sternum. So it's right. a real thing, isn't it? it is. Okay, so the color for our sacral chakra is the beautiful orange. orange. Yes. And so we've got this beautiful carrot salad. Mm -hmm. We've got mint and we've got parsley. We've mm -hmm. put in some paprika and some cumin, a little bit of Himalayan salt, some sriracha for heat, some honey for sweet. Tell me again the word. Svadhisthana. Svadhisthana. <laughs> it's, it's a challenging one to say. I um, love that. <laughs> but it means sweetness. And so we're really tuning into the sweetness of life. I love that. Okay. Sweetness of life. And the senses, a, a sensual experience. Yes. And food is a sensual experience, isn't it? Just yeah. cutting mm -hmm. it, like you said, the aromas, the textures. Mm -hmm. I'm Kristen with Wildflowers and Fresh Food. And I'm Rebecca Washburn from The Chakra Journey. And if you want to connect with either of our work, just follow the links below. Yes. And we're going to taste this delicious, yes. sensual Let's <laughs> Let's give it a taste, shall we? Yes.